everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and this is Life from Ashes. So today I'm really excited. We do have another cooking video we are going to do. We're not really cooking today. We're more just stove topping it. Um, we're going to make a sweet pickle recipe. I'm using um, cucumbers and onions today, but um, you can use other vegetables if you'd like. Please just make sure that if you're using a vegetable that needs to be blanched before pickling, you may do so in your home. I'm not doing that today. Like I said, I'm just using onions and cucumbers to make these really delicious sweet pickles. The reason why is because um, I couldn't find a recipe that I liked online that was small and was refrigerator style pickles. Yes, these are refrigerator style pickles. If you don't know what that is and you're new to this, basically, instead of pickling it and canning it into a canner, you're just basically filling your mason jar and or used pickle jar, putting it all in, getting your brine inside of it, sealing it, and it's ready to go. You can either eat it the same day. I suggest waiting at least one night um, and enjoying them the next day, which is what I'm going to do. This is how they are going to look. Very, very, very beautiful, very colorful, very tasty, um, which I'm going to show you right now. I made these ones yesterday. That jar I just showed you I made today. Um, we're on a diet right now and we can't have certain types of salts. We have to have um, kosher salts that are not iodized. So I made our own pickles because I ran out of pickles from the summer. So this is what they look like. I am going to try a bite right here. Mm, so good. So good. I'm going to take another bite. When you're on a diet, they can't have any iodine flavors, everything. That was so good. And I don't know if you could hear that on camera, the crunching that was coming out of my like vocal area, but it was so good. All right. Very simple. You're going to put all these things in. You're going to put it in the fridge. It's going to be very easy. I really want you to try this. If you're new to this, please follow along. And so that being said, without further ado, let's get pickling. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is have a cup of water, spring water, and a cup of white vinegar, and a cup of sugar into this pot. We're going to set that to medium heat, and we are not going to boil this. We are just going to heat it pretty hot and get everything dissolved. I will be adding pickling salt to this. You can use kosher salt as well. And we are going to add one tablespoon into this mix. We're adding one teaspoon of ground turmeric spice to this. If you don't want to add one full teaspoon, you can add a half a teaspoon. I wouldn't go any less than that. All right, and so we'll be adding some celery seed here. I'm going to be putting in a quarter teaspoon. I will also be adding a quarter teaspoon of dill seeds. So once you have all of that in there, you're gonna go ahead and grab a whisk and just give that a good stir and be stirring this while you are chopping your vegetables, which is what we're going to do right now. I have here a full cucumber and a half and two medium sized onions and I am going to go ahead and slice these. Now don't slice these too thin but don't slice them too thick either. Um, it's really about preference. As you can see, I'm slicing them almost salad thin, so that would be good. Um, the onions, however, I like to slice them slightly bigger, like onion ring size, if you can see this, see that? That's a nice, yeah, that's a nice size right there. Okay, and so once we get all of these chopped up, we're gonna set it aside. We're gonna grab a quart mason jar. Um, or your pickle jar if you have one like that. I'm using a wide top. It's just easier to put stuff in and stack it up. We're going to add to the bottom of this about a teaspoon, I would say, um, of pickling spice. You can get this anywhere. It's very, very simple. Just about a teaspoon. If you like more, go ahead, but I find a teaspoon is definitely enough for me. We're going to grab our onions and our cucumber, and we are going to start layering it up the jar. I love to um, quick pickle things. It just makes things so much easier. 
And if you don't have a canner or you don't have time, this process will work for you and your family. Trust me, it is perfect. Okay, stacking it down, I'm gonna go ahead and use my damper. Um, you can use a wooden spoon if you want, and I'm not gonna crush my food, I'm just packing it down a little tighter because when we get the hot stuff in there, they will soften the cucumber quickly and there'll be more room. So you really wanna pack everything in there tight. All right, I'm gonna use my canning funnel, but if you don't have a canning funnel, you can go right ahead and just use your ladle and pour in. Just be careful when you're pouring not to overflow your juice. Just look at the color of that brine. Isn't it beautiful? It smells amazing. You have no idea, you just totally need to try this. All right, now that we've got our jar all filled up, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this pick here, my chopstick, and I'm gonna press it down the sides. And that's to release the air that is trapped in between our layers, allowing some more of the juice to get down. Now you see the jar has like dropped in juice. I'm gonna go ahead and use my damper and pack that down again very lightly and get that all underneath the juice. I like using the mason jar that has edges because it holds everything down. Now I had extra and so I poured mine into a little jar and used the rest of my vegetables and made a second jar. All right guys, welcome back. I hope you totally enjoyed that tutorial. Very simple, very easy. Like I said, um, you don't need to have a canner or anything special um, to do this. You can literally do this. They keep for four months at least with the crunch in the fridge. They're still good after that. Probably a good six months and they're still okay. Totally delicious and something new for you to try. Um, and I will show you how to do regular pickles um, later on during the season when we get into the gardening season. But for now, that is what I wanted to share with you um, while I'm doing this in my life. I like to share it with you in yours. And so I'm so happy that you could be here and join me for this awesome recipe. Um, if you haven't already, um, please subscribe and ring that bell. Um, I post regular videos um, on beauty and cooking and all kinds of other things. Um, and I have gardening videos coming up really soon um, it's still really cold and wet out here so it won't be outdoor gardening just yet but I do have things started and I want to share all of the varieties of seeds with you that I will be planting this year so please stay tuned for that and if you're already a subscriber I just wanted to share with you my gratitude how happy it makes me to know that you decided to join me on my journey and take part in my life so that being said, guys, I just hope you take care on this beautiful day and you enjoy a little something new in your home. I love you all. God bless. Bye for now.